I was in comics years ago and I took like a seven year break to raise my family. And I just came back to it a year ago and it's a whole different ball game than what it was back then. So I'm learning a lot and Instagram has been great and, you know, had a good first campaign, but that's like a first campaign, you know, I mean, that's just, that's just a drop in the bucket of, you know, the things you got to do to get where you want to go. So. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Inside Comics with George McHale. Uh, really quick, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe and tell a friend about it. Uh, today, I'm super psyched. I'm joined by Dan Price, uh, creator of Bigfoot Nose Karate. Hey, um, George, thanks for having me on today. I appreciate it. I was just putting my Do Not Disturb on real quick. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Glad to be here. This is going to be awesome today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your book looks dynamite, and I want to talk about creating a cool concept for your comic book why is sure. that like so important uh having a having a concept that is completely different than everybody else it pushes you uh ahead in the pack uh you know there's a lot of superhero comics out there i like superhero comics but there's so many in that style and for me coming up with a concept that takes a little bit of this a little bit of that puts them together you know it's like peanut butter and jelly right and uh you know uh, coming up with something like that. So, you know, with my concept, Bigfoot Knows Karate, we're taking a cryptid, we're taking a fighting style, we're putting it together and telling an epic tale. So, um, have you know, having something that sets you apart will help you get recognized and noticed. And hopefully that translates to readers. Yeah. And you can do that with like any sort of story that you're trying to tell, you know, uh, just wrapping it in like a genre just mm -hmm. makes it so much more palatable and 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 just easier to communicate to 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 your readers right um I, I have a few comic books and i have some that are like you know really uh personal stories that are kind of straightforward and those are my hardest sells and then i have one that's you know it it has like a lot of monsters in it and it's like people yeah. like monsters they're gonna buy it so right it, it that's my easiest sell and my most successful book in in a lot of ways you know i can relate to that um you know i'm we're going into the big footnotes karate chapter two Kickstarter in, on October 12th. But my earlier work, I like weird stuff. I like crazy characters. And one of the things that we did, my dog's coming over to say, hi, hello. How are you? Uh, one of the things that, uh, one of the things that I worked on previously was a book called latex Avenger. And in latex Avenger, he had a psychic spermicidal foam lad and together they repelled crime 99.9% .9 of the time. Not an easy sell. Okay. You know, people thought it was porn. People thought it was just bad taste. It wasn't porn at all. It was bad taste, but it was porn. <laughs> uh, you know, I even gave away condoms with my website URL on them. And, you know, so I like weird stuff. And uh, so like Bigfoot Nose Karate is far more normal in comparison to some of the other things that I've worked on in my comics career. So I get you completely. How did you come up with uh, Bigfoot Nose Karate? Like, where did that idea spawn from? Remember I mentioned that book Latex Avenger earlier? Um, so it was originally supposed to be part of that universe. And it was going to be this very trite concept of like, the Bigfoot gets wounded and like the, 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 the master finds him and takes him back to his dojo and heals him up and, you know, gets him into fighting condition and there's a revenge thing or the master gets killed and then there's a revenge thing or, you know, that kind of plot that we've seen so many different times in so many different ways. And he was going to leave the dojo and he was going to go on a Kane Kung Fu, you know, the, the show Kung Fu He's going to go through this long journey and he was going to end up at a, at a plant at the in Plano, Texas, which was a suburb of Dallas. And he was going to end up working at going to junior college and making, working at a hot dog on a stick while coming across all these different, uh, you know, bad guys within the mall. It was really, he had a girlfriend who was 11 months pregnant and wasn't showing because she needed to, you know, save on the rent, uh, you know, and it was just like terrible, terrible. It was just dumb. And so I just shelved it. I was like, I'm not, I don't want to do this. That was like in 2015. And uh, in 2018, I started doodling the style of the character you're seeing now. And um, and I did that for a couple of years, just on and off on Instagram, just doodling this character. Casey, my co-writer, just thank you, Casey. Uh, so what are you going to do with this thing? you got this cool idea and you're not doing anything with it. So 
uh, I finally came up with a story that I thought was like, you know, different and unusual and dropped it on Casey's lap. And I said, you figure it out, editor. And he did. And, you know, and, and he was such a great editor that he was, helped me with the story and really became the co-writer on the book. And just, again, I'm so stoked. And who is the bad guy? Who's the enemy that uh, Bigfoot uh, has to take on? First issue was Kung Fu Thulu. Uh, he is our martial arts Cthulhu character uh, that um, it was, uh, yeah, that was the big bad in the first issue. And then in the fourth act of the first issue, we revealed another bad. And uh, can't tell you a whole lot about it. That's going to get you into issue two where we get a lot of, uh, we get a lot of uh, insight to who those people are and what they're going to do next. Okay. But uh, like I said, we have a lot of, you know, I will say this. We have uh, a lot of other characters are showing up in issue two. Like I mentioned before, there's a Chupacabra with a shotgun that I'm completely in love with. I think it's a great character. Um, we also, there's a Thermonucleodon, which is a, uh, which is a Kaiju with missiles growing out of his body. Uh <laughs> There's so much more. I mean, there's so much more that we're packing into this little puck wedgies and all sorts of weird stuff. So really played with uh, cryptids and turning them into something a little bit different. Awesome. Cool. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about Bigfoot Karate? Like, what is this book more yeah. than just the title? Yeah, Bigfoot Knows Karate is the tale of a gentle crypto warrior who lives in a world where anyone can be the hunter and anyone can be the prey at any given time. Uh, that is kind of the, the setup. We've moved, we're in issue two right now. Um, you know, I liken Bigfoot Knows Karate to Godzilla versus Kong meets Kill Bill with a big splash of Lost, uh, it, you know, thrown in for good measure. Uh, we're writing a story that is far bigger than what you would expect from the title. And uh, having a blast doing it, but it's a, a, a cinematic story that has characters like Kung Fu Thulu, Chupacabra with a shotgun, uh, you know, Thermonucleodon, things of like that. And, you know, we're playing with cryptids. We're playing with, you know, with the battle, you know, uh, you know, the battle between them and uh, and what's behind it. Okay. Yeah. And this, is, um, this is issue two, and uh, the Kickstarter is in pre-launch phase right now. So yeah. I've included a link in the description of this video, everyone. Uh, go ahead and click that link, and that way you can check out the Kickstarter page and be notified when it launches. Um, yeah. So you said this is issue two. Are you able to get issue one in this Kickstarter? Absolutely. You know, we had a great first Kickstarter. Uh, you know, we had 212 backers. I'm so proud of that. And all the people who uh, jumped in and supported it. So thank you to everybody. But, you know, look, there's a lot more people that uh, need to check out this comic. So we'll definitely have a digital catch up. We'll definitely have a physical catch up as well. And since this is coming out earlier than the campaign, you got a limited amount of time to check it out for free on globalcomics.com. So if you are interested in reading Bigfoot Knows Karate number one, go to globalcomics.com and you can check that out for free. It's on me. Awesome. Yeah. And there's a link to that in the description of this video as well. Um, and can you tell me a little bit about uh, the rewards that you're offering in this yeah. campaign? Like what, what kind of uh, rewards do you have? Yeah, we're going to, you know, listen, I don't, really overcomplicate kickstarters all that much i would try and keep it pretty simple so we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a regular edition comic we're gonna have you know we'll do the digital package we'll have the regular edition physical copy and then we're gonna have three uh different and uh, we'll we're gonna have two regular editions of the book one regular uh regular cover and one variant and then we're gonna have the deluxe editions of the book all right and there's gonna have be a regular and a variant on that one too and um and that's going to be the difference is the issue is going to be about 34 pages, I believe. Uh, and then uh, and you're going to get the whole story in the regular edition in the deluxe edition. You're going to get the 30 page or 34 page story. And then on top of that, you're going to get extra sketches by myself and Adam Caswell. And uh, we're also going to put in some fan art pieces that we received. And also there'll be the director's commentary video. So you'll be able to click on a QR code and go to a private YouTube video where we talk about the book and uh, extensively and go through what it's about and how it works. So, and we did that in issue one, people really went crazy for that. And uh, so we're going to, we're going to, you know, let that baby ride. So we're going to do that as well. There'll be a four pack 
in the in the uh, in the campaign uh, where you can pick up all four covers, or you can even get the four covers of the last book. But you know, nothing too crazy. But I'm really proud of the deluxe editions that we we did in the past and bringing that back this issue. That's really cool. I've never heard of a director's commentary for a comic book. I Thank like you. that idea a lot. Thank you. Yeah, I've wanted to do that for years. And uh, do I have a copy around here? Um, I've wanted to do that for years. And so it was uh, when I noticed, you know, I thought QR code, that's perfect. And so it was because, I mean, how do you do a director's commentary in a comic book and make it work without annotations on the side and that sort of thing of the book? Making the page smaller, that would be terrible. So this was this was perfect. I like it. Yeah. What a, what a great reward, too. That's really cool. I might have to steal that for one of my future. Yeah, man, books. take it. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Everybody so else cool. did already, man. I mean, seriously, I've had so many people like, I'm going to use that. Yeah, go for it. You know, yeah. have fun with it. Well, there's so well, many like fun stories and kind of behind the scenes stuff that, you know, every page has. So why yep. not like kind of tell people about it? That's that's super cool. I like yeah. that a lot. And we did it in a round table format. So it was myself, Casey Allen, my co-writer on the project. And then um, it was hosted by Kat, the High Heeled Gamer, uh, who's a podcaster. And then we had um, gentlemen from the uh, from uh, oh, another podcast. It's escaping me at the moment. And um, a friend of mine, Dennis Valencia. Uh, who is the creator of the Celestial Night for Slate Comics? And so I, it was a blast. It was a spoiler country. It was a spoiler country podcast that the gentleman was from. We had a blast. It was a lot of fun and uh, we laughed a lot. I mean, it was one 30 page comic and it took us like two hours and 15 minutes to get through it because we were just <laughs> talking so much. It was ridiculous. Uh, all right. Well, Dan Price, I want to thank you for being on Inside Comics. Um, this comic just sounds absolutely bonkers. I'm going to sign up uh, right now. Oh, so everyone, you. you know, click the link in this in the description of this video. Go and uh, and be notified for when this Kickstarter launches. Uh, thank you, Dan. Thank you. Appreciate awesome. it. Peace. <laughs>